Let me come down the corner here. I'll tell you why in a second. There's 15 or 20 pilgrims in Puerto Rico. It's just a big island. And the official language is both uh, Spanish and English. Um, so mostly watching this are from Americans speak English. It would help to know a little bit of Spanish. Just the basics. I'm working on that now. I don't know if there's action. There's probably not much. But it's really not what it's about. It's friendly. They, they love Americans because they get a lot of American tourists who spend a lot of money there and economy that, you know, they're more appreciative people, you know, that some tourist towns, the locals hate the tourists, uh, you won't see that in Puerto Rico, they love the tourists because the tourists bring in money and it helps their economy a lot, um, and they understand that and, and appreciate it and they're friendly. Uh, it's American territory. So, you know, it's not like, it's not like you're going to this foreign country that, you know, where you're going to be, you know, you know. Between 400 and 450 a month, and that includes your all your like, water and electric. Um, you know, there's downsides to everywhere, so I don't want to make it out to be, you know, the perfect place to be. I have no idea about their internet. get around, if you need a car to get around, if, um, I know the cost of living is really pretty incredible. So if you like the beach, it's a place to be, you're never far from the beach. And most of the pool rooms are in more touristy areas close to the beach. I think there's actually only one pool room that's inland. Some of them are closed down right now because of COVID. I don't know what the table... But they're going to play different because of the ocean air. Um, so I would have to get used to that. But I'm, the, the plan right now is just go down for a visit and poke around and, and uh, find some information out about... You know, you can get on the internet and do as much research as you want, but until you get there, you never really know.
food is good, the air is clean, the cost of living is great, and it's friendly, and they got cool. What more could you want? Oh, and the women are stunningly beautiful. The island is beautiful. There's beaches everywhere. Of course, all this will be filmed on the, and stuck on the tube of you. That was the adventure part. You gotta go down for a little while, at least a week, and just feel around because you can get a surface view of something. And it'd be a little bit misleading when you get further inland. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, love at first sight isn't always love. You know? uh, I don't know. It's an adventure. We'll go down for a week and, and really feel around and see what the cool scene is like. And I. Uh, if I decided to live there, or retire there, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, as soon as I find a home room that accepts my camera, yeah, I'll still be making full videos. I'm probably going to wind up with a lot of vlog videos too, of other adventures, and just showing you what it's like. But it's something that um, I've been digging into in the more I find out, the more intrigued I become. So we're going to find out, and I'll share the adventure right here on YouTube. So the plan in that week or two that I spend down there, um, I'm going to get to as many pool rooms as I possibly can, and I'm going to rank these pool rooms on, you know, things like the table condition, hospitality, food, action, and just overall, you know, vibe. Oh, well, also poking around the best I can and seeing what life is really like. And 
those on the coast and a little bit inland um, to see, you know, to confirm some uh, internet stories about what life is really like in Puerto Rico. If they speak more English than Spanish, or more Spanish than English, or it's equal, and can you get by with, you know, just knowing a minimal amount of Spanish. Uh, just overall, you know, overall feel, finding the truth of the matter and sharing it with y'all. And the pool scene is, is is a big issue, and it's a you know it's a big part of my life, so it has to be right. Anyway, I've got some business to take care, of, so I'm gonna put y'all down for now. I could wind up doing, you never know. I doubt that, but if I was, and some guy wanted to come in and make YouTube videos, that'd be, a, that'd be all for it. I'm like, hell yeah, come on and bring your camera, plaster my name all over YouTube. Yeah, do that. You're welcome. Here's some, here's some free food and a free beer. I don't know, some people are funny when it comes to the camera, man. And some people can be real, like, you know, over-possessive and worried and, and you know, it's, it makes some people feel like they're invading their privacy. I don't think it'll be any problem to find a home border in Puerto Rico that wants their name I start all over the internet. Yeah. I don't, it's not a hostile place. Yeah. It's not a paranoid place. As far as I know, you know every, everyone looks laid back and here have a drink and enjoy your stay in Puerto Rico. Let's see how it goes again. Okay. Muchos gracias. Taco de grande. No comprende. That's there's my extent of Spanish. I got some work to do. You see all the hustlers in Puerto Rico like Licking her chops and getting all ready and yes, gringo, fresh gringo meat. You come to Puerto Rico. Hey, simple. <laughs> and, you know, if you if you want to see what life is like in Puerto Rico as a tourist, there's like a thousand videos on YouTube telling you all about it. Uh, the beaches are beautiful, the weather is hot, which I don't mind. Um, a lot of shopping in the tourist area, of course. Yeah, the cost of living is very low. Uh, and that's going to be higher in the tourist areas, of course. But the question for us, what is life like for a pool player in Puerto Rico? That's the question, Amigo. Might be Paul and Billiard's best kept secret. And imagine doing what you love to do in a place you love to be. The 
and that's the dream. YouTube's just a small part of that. So, the issue of making money, as long as, you know, their internet is decent. And that's, that's a big question. That's a question. We'll find out that in. That was just like America, where if you, you know, if you get you know, tourist areas, it's probably fine. Um, but, you know, the, the further rural you get, the worse it does. It's probably a lot like that. So is the American banking system going to be fine there? Is it Edited card gonna be a problem. Do I have to go back to writing checks? I haven't written a check in here. Um, so converting digital money into cash to pay for stuff is is an issue that needs to be checked into. 